we were ever to not attend, I think that would send an incredibly wrong signal to the United Nations about Falkland Islanders and our rights to self-determination. I'm also hoping to use this as an opportunity to talk directly with, with, with countries around ways that we can build links more generally, because I think there is a lot of opportunity there, and particularly with the small islands developing states um, meetings, there will hopefully be opportunities to, sh to exchange information on kind of economic challenges and to build kind of almost softer PD links that will hopefully give us a more permanent presence in, in the minds of these countries. But we've also, you know, we've been building sporting links with different countries and we know that a lot of effort through particularly some of our scientific administrations such as SARI, like they're doing great work across the Caribbean and they're building a network there where the Falklands is really getting a really positive reputation. And the work that we've been doing internationally to draw attention particularly to IUUE fishing and the horrible things that are happening out on the high seas of the southwest Atlantic, you know, the work that we've been doing to gather UK attention to that as well as attention from the region and from elsewhere in the world, you know, I think that's really starting to make people stand up and take notice that, you know, the Falklands has got a lot to give the world and actually we are very well placed to do that.